Hello guys, it's me again, your friend Self Service. Um, thank you for dropping by my channel to check out my videos. So um, I'm here again to uh, give you some tips or DIY upgrade, which I have done with my Hyundai Accent. So basically, I am I did upgrade my head unit on my Hyundai. Uh, Accent 2016 model from the standard stock to an Android head unit. So basically, this hand Android ed head unit is is an upgrade. It's it's all it also can be done as a DIY, but it's kind of difficult for me to show you on the different wirings that you need to connect from your stock harnesses to your Android unit so I have asked the help of the local audio shop here in my hometown to do it for me but I will just uh, tell you on what head unit that I bought uh, why did I choose it and what are the special stuff that I that you can get from this Android head unit so let's begin Okay, so this one is my Android head unit. It's a it's a it's a brand called Joying. I think Joying is a uh, Hong Kong company which manufactures Android head units. So basically, this head unit head unit is a one din, ten point one inch LCD screen. So I will show you what are the specs of this Android head unit. So basically Android head unit is like it's like an Android tablet that it connects directly to your car audio system via your stereo connection. So yeah, it's 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 a good uh, head unit compared to those um, Pioneer, Sony, um, JVC and other head units that in my opinion is very good because it has a lot of different features that is somewhat similar to an Android device which you can install apps um, different types of apps you can install and etc so I will show you on uh, what are the specs of this uh, head unit so we need to go to settings uh, about device so these are the specs of this head unit so the specs is running on I don't know if you can see it clearly um, octa core 1.8 gigahertz I chose the 6 gigabyte memory plus 128 gigabyte internal storage I choose the six gigabyte because if you want to run a lot of applications then it would require a lot of ram to run it if you would prefer the two gigabyte one then yeah maybe the performance in the long run might be affected because from what i can tell you um, the further we move into the future different apps are uh, being created and it would require a lot of um, hardware specs or higher hardware specs for it to run so I straightly chose the 6 gigabyte one but the recommended um, RAM that I would suggest is maybe 2 gig so if you have a 2 gig RAM plus 64 GB of storage then yes that can be that can be used as well but um, yeah it's 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 not as future proof as from what I can say so the what else um, the resolution of this screen is 1920 by 1200 pixels so that's the resolution of this um, LCD screen so moving forward you have the time um, which uh, sound source that you're playing settings and navigation which is the Navi here so 
we can try to move forward to what are the apps that you can um, install on this one so the typical normal um, branded LCD radios that you can get from branded um, stereo manufacturers is you cannot install that much applications because um, it's kind of like a proper pro pra propriety for them something like that but as this one is built in with Android oh I forgot uh, this one is running on this one is running on Android 10 which is over there Android 10 version so with this one then you can have Play Store into this Android stereo and from here yeah you can just download and install your favorite apps which for mine is I just installed um, Chrome Netflix Spotify Torque Torque is where you can use to view your um, you can view your car cars I don't know what do you mean car status via the OBD OBD sensor which is used by this one this one is an OBD Bluetooth port which you can plug into your OBD port near your fuse box inside your car and then what else uh, ways for your for your uh, navigation or uh, Google Maps, uh, YouTube, and YouTube Music. So from here, um, it also have two cameras which you can install. I installed the front and the back. So this one is on the front, which I, you can see. Um, I'm on a car shop, so mind my surroundings. And then the back one is automatic when you change the gear to reverse so if I try to reverse the car then it automatically shows the reverse camera so one at the front and one at the back so this one will definitely help you when you are trying to move on tight spaces so the next thing that I will show you is uh, CarLink so CarLink is it comes pre-installed with the, with this Android uh, stereo. So CarLink is where it will connect to your phone via Apple CarPlay for iPhone users. And for Android phones, it's um, I think on Android Auto. So for you to use this um, CarLink, which I am using an iPhone, which is, I'll just put it on top. You don't need USB cables for you to use this one it runs with Bluetooth so from here then there you go you can use your CarPlay Apple CarPlay onto your onto your phone so let me go back um, Spotify you can also use oh yeah before I forgot this one has a built-in SIM card so in here I have two USB ports if you want to connect your thumb drive that contains your um, audio or movie files and this one is a SIM card so if you insert a SIM card in here which I'm using uh, Dito telecommunications your Android head unit will have its own internet you don't need for your phone to hotspot as you can see here there's a 4g logo or signal there so this one solely runs on its own internet it doesn't require for your phone or any Wi-Fi for you to connect so we can try by I don't know, going to Google search oops where did I go? Oh, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want this one. Okay. 
let's just close this one. We will try again with Chrome. Maybe try speed test or fast. Fast.com. So this one will uh, read how fast your SIM card is. So it depends on what your SIM card is running or depends on the signal on where you're located because mine I'm using Dito. So maybe it's not that fast or if you're using Smart or Globe then that one should definitely uh, run more faster because the coverage of both um, uh, uh, ISP providers is kind of fast so I only use Dito because it's a spare sim that I have so yeah it's about 1.3 megabytes per second okay, okay 1.6 1.3 so as I will be stating, it's not using my hotspot on my phone, but it's using the SIM card which is uh, connected to the SIM card slot onto the Android head unit. So let's go back. We can try Spotify. Okay, Spotify will try to play something. There you go. You can play something on Spotify. Um, you can try what else? Uh, Netflix. Try Netflix. Okay. Oh, before I forget, this one doesn't have those um, um, pressable buttons because it needs to. I'm. 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 I'm visualizing the minimalist type of screen so basically there's no touch touch but i mean the only buttons you have is those this touch buttons which is inside the screen so we we'll go back to spotify i'll play i don't know mission impossible play so this one uses again the sim cards uh internet Okay, we forward for a bit. Okay, so that is Netflix. It's a good way to watch if you're just parked waiting for your girlfriend or wife or any family members that um, you're picking them up. So you can just watch those uh, movies from Netflix. Uh, Torque is like, a, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, it's an OBD uh, status um, app which you can plug, which you can check the the status of your car so you need this one i will show you on how to plug it in so first is okay we need to uh, go down to fuse box let me just show you okay go to the fuse box open it and from here just plug it in so once that is plugged in we go back to the car out of the audio head unit then from here click torque click OK so here it will try to communicate with that OBD system once it you once you can see the car there that is not blinking anymore then you can see the stats 
So I will try to press the accelerator and see the accelerator comes up. So different readings are coming out. So boost, uh, coolant temperature is here, um, air intake temperature is there. Uh, this one is the uh, bolts that charges your battery. And then yeah, you can have a reading on what your car is uh, currently um, experiencing. So this one is a helpful also if I don't know if you are uh, like a racer type thing then you can see the different types of um, different types of um, indicators or gauges that you can find out on it to your car so we move on to the next so torque is that one you can also buy the torque Pro, which I think maybe about twenty dollars, which gives you more options. So, okay, next is what should be next. Uh, Waze is your typical, um, typical navigation. Uh, okay, so that one is your navigation. Uh, and so then okay video player video player is yeah if you want to play any video so I have this um, videos on my storage which I copied over so I'm playing uh, fast and the furious Okay, so that's the Fast and the Furious movie clip. So you can play different kinds of movies or um, I don't know animes or series on this uh, on this uh, Android TV. So next thing is YouTube. So YouTube, as from what I say, it got, it gets the internet from the SIM card. Just play it. Okay, that's uh, YouTube. That's YouTube. And then the other one that I can use also is YouTube Music. So YouTube Music is um, an app also you which you can download from um, Android Play Store. No dickety, no doubt. Play on, play on. I'm mine. Wow. I think about the girl all the time. Wow, wow. East side to the west side. Push some fat rides. Try another one. Master double when you money come with good. Animal sense. Yeah, the only downside for having a YouTube music if you are not buying the premium one is you get ads. So if you have a YouTube premium, then the ads, YouTube ads will not pop up. So you just click skip. And let's try another song. Them. Smoke trees, do you think brought you the ODs, Easy E's, Ice Cubes, and DOCs, the Snoop Deal Double G's, and 
so that is your YouTube music so that's it most of the um, stuff that I use are those applications um, oh yeah it has a built-in microphone from here uh, let me try if for example if I am on ways if I am on ways I press this mic button Victoria Plaza okay NCCC mall VP so from here it will record on how for you to go to that specific location so the microphone works from my location to the destination that I will be going so it's very nice because it's it's an all-in-one um, all-in-one radio system which you can um, use all the different apps that is somewhat like the normal tablet Android tablet that you'll be using oh um, I'll be showing you also this one so basically the how I install or the installer installed it is you can remove this screen it has a lock mechanism here so as you can see it's a one din stereo which it connects to these two clips and then the only downside is yeah the buttons at the bottom cannot be used I mean it still can be used but it's just hidden because um, the screen is too big so wait, let me just try to put it back again oh, oh, how are you not fitting Just push it tight. Okay. Oh, no, it's not the correct orientation. Uh, it should be this one. So, that's how it's connected. You can still use the hazard sign here, but it's just hidden. So, when I press it, yeah, you can still have the hazard sign. The other two buttons, I think it's not that commonly used, so I only use the hazard, which I can still press at the very bottom here. Yeah, still works. So, what else? Um, I mean, yeah, that's basically this Android head unit. I mean, oh, radio. I forgot the radio. Um, radio is this one. Yeah, you can use different stations. Sorry, got disconnected. So, if you want to have the radio, just click this one. Different radio. Oops, there we go. Um, you want to use Bluetooth, Bluetooth call, you can also, um, if you want to pair um, a device, you can use this one, you can search and then you can connect and then uh, pair and unpair or you want to delete. So you can use this one also. Music is, yeah, the stored music that you have saved via thumb drive or via the SD card so that's the music one so yeah that's it okay so that's it so hopefully you've managed to uh, like the video that I've shared to you so hopefully if you have um, if you can decide on 
uh, upgrading your stock head unit or any other head units then I would advise for you to use the Android head units because they are uh, much more um, flexible or it has a lot of different features that can be shared and that can be used like different apps that you want to install and then yeah a lot of choices so um, it would be a good option for you to switch to Android stereo if you want to upgrade to your um, if you want to upgrade your car stereos so please do like the video and please also subscribe if you want to um, uh, hear or see my future videos on upgrading my Hyundai Accent 2016 model so that it can give you some ideas on what to install into your cars. Um, thank you for watching and see you again the next time on what will be my future upgrades. Bye-bye!